Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now, today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this 2006 Land Rover Defender 110 TD5 Silver Edition station wagon that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of engine starting and idling action at the end. Hope you love it. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, rather nice 2006 Land Rover Defender 110 TD5 Silver Edition. Uh, now, the Silver Edition is basically the excess with a few extra bits without the winter pack, so no heated seats and no heated screen. But otherwise, it's uh, excess spec, but it also comes with um, twin front auxiliary lamps and the soft day bar, big steering guard underneath, um, the excess side steps, the checker plate kit, which is from the factory, yeah, black checker plate. Boost alloys, shod with a matching set of BFG all-terrains. I don't think the snorkel is standard in fairness, I think that's been fitted subsequently. Um, what else do we have? It's got ABS and traction control. It's also got tow pack. Um, inside it's in nine seater spec this one, it's got a centre seat rather than a cubby box. It's got an uprated stereo with Bluetooth, Alpine thing. Um, what else do they have? Oh, it's got this. Uh, I thought the previous owner was going to keep that, actually. He said he was going to, but obviously he didn't. So that comes with it as well. The Hula Girl. Uh, yeah, air conditioning. And, and to say, half leather, the same as an XS. So, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. It's in really, really good shape, this one. We did actually try and buy it last year and the, the owner wouldn't sell it, but um, it's finally come around to our way of thinking. Um, just a really nice, well-looked-after car. The last owner's had since 2009. Uh, wind's getting up now. Um, right, we'll go around and pick out what we can, but there's not much in the way of bad bits. Okay, it's 15 years old, so there's a few marks on it here and there. There's a couple of marks on the bonnet, just one there. A couple of scratches just up here and otherwise all pretty good around the front end. Looking down the near side, it looks pretty straight by Defender standards. Near side front wing has got a very faint scuff in it just here and here, just like a branch scuff. Another scratch there, and there's another mark just there on the bonnet. Let me show you a bit of underside. post you see the mirror arm on the near side has lost most of its paint probably the offside one is the same you can get replacements oddly enough the screen block hasn't lost its paint and they really do as well it's just surface rust along there the screen's in good shape there's a small chip on the driver's side high up but i think that's outside of the motable area just up there uh, the screen rubber is probably the original so it probably has seen better days now um Near side door, it's got a couple of minor scratches on it just there. This being a, two, being a 2006 model is fitted with the, the later doors, which don't corrode in the same way as the, uh, the early ones. So we don't need to uh, look at door frames and stuff like that. Interior wise, it's all in pretty good shape, really. The middle seat has, is a later addition. Um, that's from Exmoor trim and it, it's not half leather the way that the rest of the seats are. It's a sort of Exmoor trim ripstop material. Um, but aside from that, the headline is in good shape. It's all pretty good in it. It's soundproofed also. It's got full carpets and mats as well. B post. Oh, Valeta didn't clean this bit here. Apologies. Uh, all as it should be in here, apart from the offside rear seat here has got two rather large tears in it, right on the on the um, on the outer edge there. Don't know why that is. Um, near side rear wing, all good. There's actually very little electrolytic reaction on this one compared to some. Again, looking under the tail end. to be in good shape under there. We've got a slight dent 
just here on the back of the near side rear wing. Not much, just a little sort of depression just along there. Around the tail end, let's open up the tailgate actually. Rear cross member. And in here. Rear door card's a little bit scuffed, but that's uh, normal. The spare wheel cover that's fitted is um, a bit worn on the top here, so you might need to want to replace that. Looking down the offside, again, pretty straight. I really like this actually, and it drives exceptionally well. It's just a really nice, honest car. It's not been abused. We've got a scratch down there on the offside rear wing. Um, tub top trim is just starting to bubble up a bit just there. But if you catch that soon, that'll be fine. And a little bit of damage to the gutter up here. It's obviously had a roof rack fitted at some point. Um, let's go back to under here. Couple of scratches on the offside rear door, including just there. At least being silver, they don't show very much. And that's all as it should be in there, apart from as we say that. So those two tears in the seat there. Driver's door is all nice. Offside front wing is all good. A few bit under here. A post, scuttle, again no paint loss on the screen block. And then in here, it's, it's all in, the uh, driver's seat is in pretty good shape. We've got a little mark just there on the leather and the ripstop is just starting to wear very slightly just there. But commensurate with the mileage, but dash is all nice. As I say, in my opinion, this is a damn fine Defender. Hope you agree. Anyway, next up is some uh, starting and idling action. Okay, quick view of start up and idling on this uh, Defender 110. All the lights come up as they should. Turn the camera on. And starts nice and it's correct that the ABS light doesn't go out until you're doing five miles an hour. We'll show you on the bonnet. There we are, late TD5 engine, just doing what it should. Just run in at 116k. No funny noises or funny smells. Just doing what it's supposed to do.